Robert from Youngstown, Ohio has a question about ventilation avoidance. Well, he has watched a lot of our videos and he's found answers to lots of questions, Tom, but not this one. Robert writes, I have a two-story colonial from 1947 with a ridge vent and two gable vents and no soffits. One gable vent has a power fan that was screeching, so I removed it. What's the proper setup for a roof without a soffit that has ridge vents and two gable vents? Does installing a new gable vent uh, going to help or hurt? And should the gable vent have a fan that brings air in or brings air out? What say you? First off, forget the fans. That's not doing any good at all. And a lot of the older homes that had zero soffits or they had exposed rafter tails, which you see in a lot of homes built in the 40s. So I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty convinced that's probably what he's got. This is what I would do. I'm glad you took the fan out. It was screeching, the fan belt was going. It was one of those old ones. Somebody rigged it thinking it was the way to go. It's not the way to go, especially with a ridge vent. Just get rid of the fans, keep your gable vents open, keep the ridge vent. And that's it. Just let it go with that. It will work enough. Is it perfect? No, but it'll work enough to keep the the moisture in the attic. It'll escape. Hot air is still going to rise. It's going to the moisture is going to be drawn to it. What I got to get across to people with all the different ways to do these things and all the videos we have, attic ventilation is not there to cool your attic. Although that is a residual of it. Sometimes it will help reduce some of the heat. It's there to let the hot air rise and the hot air holds more water than cold air. And so the cold air will go to the floor, the hot air will start to rise and take the water with it, which would be vapor, the humidity. Depending where you are, it'll be worse in Houston than say Youngstown, Ohio, I'm sure. So you don't have a big issue with that. And also it keeps the temperature in the attic nice and even, whether it's zero degrees outside or 100 degrees outside, you want your attic to be as close to the outside as possible so nothing reaches dew point and starts to sweat. So winter time is important to keep it open too. So just keep the gable vents open, keep the ridge vent open and let the moisture escape. Remember this, moisture in your insulation on the floor of the attic starts to reduce the R value tremendously. So the drier you keep your insulation through attic ventilation, that's what it's for, then the better the insulation will work. So he has the ridge vent at the, along the top of the, the, the peak at the point of the roof, the peak, right? And these Understand. gable vents on, on the side. Either ends, yeah. Right, at either end. What's causing that? Is it? Is there any way to put the something similar to a soffit or something at the bottom? Of if the roof he can't like put soff, I mean, if he could put soffits in, he would have seen that in one of our videos, right. I'm sure. Uh, but soffit what, vents what are can't real you important put, like, to feed it. But some if it's sort a zero vent? soffit house or if yeah. it's an exposed rafter tail, you just mm -hmm. have to live with what you have. It's been there since mm -hmm. 1947. It'll still remove the water because hot air is just going to go up. I don't care if it's winter time, there's warmer air and colder air. And as it goes up, it absorbs the water. Will it work perfect like a ridge vent, soffit vent? No. If he had soffit vents, I would tell him to close up the, the gable vents and just use ridge and use soffit. That's the perfect world. But not everybody will have that. What I want him to do is keep it simple. Don't overthink it. There's other things he can do to his home. Uh, it's going to work fine, but it's not ideal, but it's still pretty darn good. You want an ideal answer? Go ahead and fill out that, click on that blue Ask Tom button. It'll take you to this page, and that's where we'll be able to help you with answers to your questions and take advantage of Tom's years of building and knowledge and experience. Um, we put out a new video every day. Tom likes to help, and we like to do videos. So it's a great combination. We'll post a new video at our website, homeshowradio.com, and we share the joy on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel.